No, you have a pimple on your face that's making you look like a rhinoceros. Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Top 5 Wednesday. If you don't know what Top 5 Wednesday is, links will be in the description. Today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is the top 5 books that we're most thankful for and I'm assuming this is because of like American Thanksgiving or something. And I have 5 books that I just want to briefly go through today with y'all. So the first book should come as no surprise to any of y'all who've been watching my channel for any amount of time and that is Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed. So this is a book that I read about two years ago and I really wanted to talk about it with somebody but I couldn't because nobody would, nobody cared. So I decided to make my first ever booktube video and because of this book and because of that book review I am where I am today. And also this is one of the first books where I really saw certain aspects of myself because the main character is of South Asian descent and she's Muslim and I was like yes relating to all of the cultural references so that was a really amazing experience for me and I'm super thankful for this book. Can you be thankful for a book that you're still kind of currently reading? I guess I am and that book is Anna in Between by Elizabeth Nunez. So this book is set in my country of Trinidad and Tobago and to be honest I haven't really read that much book set in my country. I've probably read like one and a half to be quite honest. And that's been quite a shameful thing for me personally so I decided that I needed to break that which I am doing currently with this book and I'm absolutely loving it and adoring it and the reason why I'm grateful for it is that I feel like this book is the book that will break me into finally reading more West Indian and Caribbean fiction so I'm super thankful that it came my way for that reason. The next book that I'm always going to be thankful for is Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. Now I have talked about this book a million times on my channel with my older copy but I have my new one with the cute spine and this one is essentially an essay collection about feminism and politics and pop culture and all of those things. I read this book around the time when I was first kind of of applying the label feminist to myself and my way of thinking and these essays really served to sort of solidify my perspective in feminism and it was the first piece of like actual feminist literature that I've ever read. It had an enormous impact on me and the way that I think up till this day I still think about some of the things that were mentioned in this book and I even reference it when I make videos and do essays for school and stuff like that so I am incredibly grateful and thankful for this book. Next up we have Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Ali de Science which I'm extremely grateful for for reasons that I'd rather not get into right now but essentially the author kind of really contextualized certain things in a way that I needed to see it contextualized and the way that he just wrote the story, the way that he brought the characters forward, the writing in here it's, it's a book that leaves a lasting aesthetic impression on the reader and every time I think about this book, I think about it so, I don't know, deeply, is that a word? You, you know what I mean, can't think of anything right now. But it is one of the most special and memorable reading experiences that I've ever had so I'm extremely thankful for it. And perhaps the book that I am probably the most thankful for, which should come as no surprise again to any of you, um, is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. It is a book that came to me at the right time when I really needed it, which is very weird because this is a book about a book that comes to a reader at the right time when they really needed it. I read this book also uh, during a time when I was suffering with really bad anxiety and I had scoliosis, well I still have a mild scoliosis, but back then like I was getting a lot of back pains because of that and this book I don't know, it felt like a, an escape, like a solace, like a comfort to me. It was talking about things and addressing issues that were really um, at the forefront of my mind at the time. And I don't know, I just felt like this book was meant for me. Like this book was sent to me by, you know, the ether, by God, the universe, some sort of higher power. And it's, that's why I say that this is my favorite book of all time. In addition to it just being an excellent story, it's a book that meant a lot to me because it's a book that I had a an extrinsic and intrinsic personal experience with. So I'm so grateful for this book, I'm extremely thankful for it. Ruth Ozeki is the queen and I highly recommend this book, everybody should read it. And those were all of the books that I'm thankful for in the comments down below, I'd love to know what books you consider yourself to be thankful for. Also, if you have any thoughts on any of these books and you'd like to share them as well, go ahead and do that. Anyways, that's it for this video, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day, and until next time, inshallah, keep reading.